Go ahead. Hi, this is The D with Local Sounds Video Series. In this episode, I'm going to be introducing you to a band called One Hot Mess. We had the opportunity to sit down with the guys at Big Noise Rehearsal Studio and also witness their performance at Six Flags Great Adventure on the 4th of July. So prepare yourself for the next 30 minutes to go behind the scenes with One Hot Mess. Lights out, lights out, this is the part where we long. Just as much at fault here You got a lot of nerve telling me what to think You got a good call giving me all those lines I said You got a lot of nerve, a lot of nerve I'm here with the band One Hot Mess. Guys, why don't we go down the line and uh, have you introduce yourself to the uh, TV audience at home. My name's Kevin. I play guitar. Nice to meet you. Isn't that cool? very cool. My name's Mike. I play the bass. My, uh, my name's Eric. I, I sing and I also play guitar. My name's Joe and I play the drums. The name One Hot Mess. Who, who wants to who wants to take that one? What does I, it mean? Where I did it come I have from? To feel that one. Um, basically, when we first started, we were at TCNJ and um, we started we, we started playing like this this was it like a talent show or something. Yeah, yeah. TCNJ is basically where we all went to school, and we started playing a talent show. And uh, I'd kind of talked to Mike, and Mike brought in Kevin, and we had a couple other guys. Joe wasn't in the band quite yet. And we we had a guy. His name was Michael Jackson. His name he was a uh, he had a big fro. Is he a huge Michael Jackson fan. I don't know that he was. He was a he was a Jewish dude. He had a fro. It was yeah. <laughs> anyway. So so I don't know. But uh, there were six of us, and we showed up to one of the rehearsals, and we were trying to get like the whole band together. But there was everybody was everywhere, and someone was like, "Where's the band?" We didn't know. We didn't know who was in the band, and they were like, "Man, you guys are one hot mess." formation of the band? Uh, well, I think Eric mentioned that I think first he and I got together with another guy, another guitar player, his name was Andrew, and uh, we did a little playing, a little rehearsal and whatever, and then we were looking for a lead guitar player, and um, I had met Kevin earlier in the year, and I thought he'd be a good fit, so I asked him to come, come sit in or whatever, and I think things clicked more or less, and he decided to stick around, and um, we did have the aforementioned Michael Jackson. Uh, hitting the skins for a couple months, which was an interesting experience to say the least. And then um, we parted ways with him, 
as well as the other guitar player, Andrew. And we brought in another, uh, another drummer. His name is Jesse. And we had a keyboard player, too, at some point, too. It was a big... Uh, yeah, Matt. We had a couple kids, actually, <laughs> two Matts, played Two-pros, keyboards yeah. and <laughs> at the different times. And um, they came and went, and we were still looking for a good, um, solid drum, you know, someone we could really depend and depend on and rely on. And Eric, I think, knew Joe from high school. And it was Eric's idea to bring Joe to a rehearsal, I guess, almost like five years ago, I guess, at this point. So Joe met this girl. <laughs> <laughs> Boy meets girl story. Well, first off, they forgot to mention Chris, who was another guitarist. He actually came oh, in. Yeah. Chris actually came in when I came in about five years ago. Uh, he left short after that. And uh, we were together solid for, I'd say, about three years. With another, guy, with, with another guitarist, Josh. Josh actually entered the band because we had a Battle of the Bands competition, and Eric broke his hand playing basketball. <laughs> so, he, so he tells us. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> <laughs> and so we asked Josh to play in. He's a very talented guitarist. He picked up our songs really quick, and uh, and that was it. He 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 was a good addition. And um, and then uh, around the fall of some year, 2005, 04, um, I was getting caught up in a lot of schoolwork and stuff, and I just ha- I had to take a break from the band. Um, didn't leave exactly the way I wanted to, or they wanted me to. Either way, it wasn't a very good breakup. But we're. Yeah, no. It was didn't b- stick, didn't take. Not really. But hey, I'm back and it's happy and the music's good. <laughs> You guys have uh, a big show coming up here. You're playing um, at Great Adventure mm-hmm. uh, on Fourth of July. So let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, well, basically, Joe um, Joe works at Great Adventure and he hits trash cans and stuff. So, and he does that every day. So, well, I'm think Joe is going to clarify it. What was the question? Uh, Great Adventure, July Fourth. Let's talk about it. Uh, yeah, one of my supervisors, uh, Patricia, uh, she actually brought to all of entertainment's attention that she was going to do something called Live and Local, which I believe every weekend on Saturdays and Sundays she has a band come in. Um, they don't get paid, but they do get professional sound equipment, good sound guy, uh, well, okay sound guy, and you pretty much get to play for a lot of people. I mean, there's always at least my phone and 10 15,000 people a day i guess there and that's some of them calling right now yeah <laughs> i don't know 10 15,000 people at great adventure yeah so uh on 4th of July i mean they usually have about 35 or 40,000 and it's just going to be a great time um i mentioned that we would probably be very interested in playing there she threw uh, patricia threw a few days at us uh of when we'd be able to play and um with all, all of our crazy schedules it wasn't, wasn't going to happen so finally i said um well if you want us to play or that bad give us a date that we just can't refuse and she said well fourth of july no. yeah, said, okay. we're making merchandise we have a sweatshirt we have stickers we got refrigerator magnets so they just go right on there, I'll keep it away from the camera. And we have what everybody's clamoring for. We have the One Hot Mess EP. We got their cover 